Ukrainian military and political observer Alexander Kovalenko analyzed the effectiveness of more than 2 million mortar shells that the Russian Federation received from North Korea. According to the specialist, the quality of these munitions is quite low. After the meeting between Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin, more than 20 million mortar shells of 120 mm and 82 mm caliber were sent from the North Korea to Russia. Mortar shells are currently the largest component of the ammunition sent from the DPRK to the Russian Federation. In fact, by firing up to 5.5 thousand shots per day with this component alone, the Russian army will be able to ensure a stable level of conduct for a year. But will they be able to do it? Kovalenko analyzes. He draws attention to several aspects. According to the Observer, the first of them is that the quality of North Korean mines, according to his data, is extremely low. This concerns the ammunition itself and additional power charges. With a set firing range of 4 to 6 kilometers, the real range is 2 to 3 kilometers. The accuracy is low. Not all of them detonate after landing. The mortar barrel clogging rate is high, the expert explains. The second nuance is the number of shots. As Kovalenko notes, 5.5 thousand shots per day is a high rate of fire, but in 2022, the share of mortar fire among the Russians exceeded 15 to 20 thousand per day. With the current intensity of fire, according to Kovalenko, the enemy with all combat means sometimes reaches 15 thousand shots per day. The third nuance is that in the third year of the war, the Russians have fewer mortars and without importing them from a third country, millions of mines will be ineffective. Therefore, as the analyst believes, among the containers that are sent from the North Korea to Russia, there may be not only ammunition, but also the tools themselves, 120mm and 82mm mortars. However, all these points do not all cancel out the acute problem of cooperation between the North Korea and Russia, and there can be no diplomatic solution for that reason. The solution is exclusively of a military nature, connected with strengthening support for Ukraine, Kovalenko noted. Дети войны, разбитая техника, не доехала. Еще паленым пахнет. БМП догорает, наверное, сутки будет литое. Дымится еще. Вот устав машины. Вот. Ну вот это то, что осталось от бензолебедки. Сгорело. Это, по-моему, были дымы. ДМ-11. Загоревшие. Тут все еще горит. Вот это не знаю, свежая унка отплет или она была тут. Да, вот это вся наша еда, которая сгорела.